This is a crop pot. 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 Let me stop. <laughs> I got to Don't mind a bleach stain. But my mom bought me a crop. <laughs> you know what that means, right? Your girl finna make a pot roast. So that's what we're doing today. So this is a crop pot. 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 Mm, mm, mm. I got a crock pot that feed nine people, y'all. Nine people. It's only two people in here. So, you know, we're going to be eating the same food for a week. Now, let me stop playing. And I got one year warranty on this thing. Stop. Y'all, let me be looking at my fat. So, we got a crock pot. Um. Seven QTs. I'm guessing this is what I'm not even gonna take. Okay, it got three settings. It got high, low, and warm for cooking flexibility. Um, manual warm settings keep food warm for when it's time to serve. So this is a so a slow cooker. Um, you said welcome to the crock pot family. Ooh! Follow us on social media and visit crockpot.com to register your product and sign up to receive the latest updates, deals, and recipes. Y'all, they're going to send me recipes to cook in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then they got me a whole recipe right here on the side, bro. Y'all, crockpot came with that because my did, my did. Hold on. Whole oh, chicken. It's a Kylie slow roasted chicken and vegetables. I'm gonna have to, I gotta say this box because I need that. All right, hold on. This, this is a huge box. And and my mom got it for me in black. And it's dishwasher safe. Removable oven safe stoneware. So I can use this in the oven for up to 400 Fahrenheit. And it says easy to clean. Y'all, this is so cool. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with a crock pot. Like, so this is what it look like. Yeah. This is what it look like. Got my lid. Got my instructions. Should I read the instructions? Maybe I need to because I don't even know how to. We got this piece. Y'all, I'm gonna put this on before I go to work. And yeah, so let me rinse this out real quick. Rinse it off. Y'all, she looks so beautiful. Look at her. Yeah. You got the little settings, off, warm, low, and high. So, yeah. Let's see. All right. 
So we got to cook. So I'm gonna show y'all. We are not about to cook because I did not leave this out last night. So I will be cooking this Saturday. Be right back. Okay, y'all, it's Saturday and we back. So I got the pot roast right here. Yeah. I had to let it defrost and some water and do all that. I got my crock pot over here. I got my knife and stuff because we about to throw this stuff in the pot. So we got the bell pepper. We got some carrots. We got some celery. And we got some onions. We got the pot roast. And we got this, which is a bag and seasoning pot roast. Herbs and spices. So we're going to get into this. So let's say pre-cooked time is 15 minutes. And then the cook time is two hours. And it makes eight servings. It say you will need the seasoning mix, three to four pounds of the roast, and you need vegetables, and you need water. Four cups of vegetables, and then you need one-fourth cup of water. And then it give you tips if you want to do this in the um, oven. So I want to open this and see what it looked like. Cause it don't really give me directions on what to do. Y'all, this is my first time cooking pot roast, so don't roast me. I, I'm not sure to what even what to even do. So Remove before cooking. So I'm guessing I'm supposed to open the pot roast and put it in here. Yeah, I don't even know what this is. Yeah. So I'm going to cut up the vegetables first. And then like in the inside, it has the seasoning. In the inside, in a, like a little pouch. So yeah, we just gonna put that to the side. Take this, take this top off, and yeah. So we gonna cut the bell pepper. Take the stick off, and yeah. Y'all, everything is new for me. And yes, I'm going to cook this whole bell pepper in here. I'm going to cook the whole thing. Y'all, I like these kind of vegetables, but my husband don't. So that's why I kind of make the stuff kind of big. While cooking because he can just peel it off if he don't want it. I love my vegetables now. And then I'm just gonna slice it up like that. Slice them in half. I am 25 years old. Yes. Yes. So I just got my crock pot plugged up, but I don't have it on because I don't want this stuff to be, I wanted everything to cook at the same time. I just got back from school. Well, school, no. On Saturdays, I get out of school at five, but I was hanging out with my friends. So. I was like, I'll just do this later and 
we are going to have pot roast for Sunday dinner. I need to get a I need to get an apron that say cooking with Tori. All right. We got that in there. Excuse me. So then I got my celery. I'm gonna wash these off real quick. Can't cut not like no chef. Two celery sticks. I'm going to do two carrots. Probably like three or four. to give me a better knife set. Burn. All right. So 
now that is done out the way. Okay, y'all. So I got all the vegetables in there, and I'm gonna show y'all what that look like. So I'm gonna use complete seasoning, and I'm gonna use minced garlic, and I'm using this seasoning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and season it while it's still in this tray. Y'all, this, and I'm gonna massage the meat. But first of all, look at it. It's like a whole muscle, like. It's tough. Mm. But yeah. So we're going to get into the seasoning though. Get into the seasoning now. Like I'm talking about a lot. Oh what I should have did was use. So I'm just going to use this on this side. And then I'm going to use this right here. And I'm not going to use too much because apparently it's super salty. I feel like that's a lot anyway. So, I'm going to use half a bag. There we go. And I'm going to just massage it in here on this side. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on there. Y'all had to put this candle over here because, mm-mm. Y'all, don't laugh at me cooking. Yeah, I should know how to cook by now. I do, but only certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, only certain stuff. You can't be scared to touch the meat, even though this look, it's pretty tough now. It don't look that great. I have to wash these seasonings off. Minced garlic. I have to base this thing in this pot roast now. I can just feel it getting stuck in my teeth already. My tooth is just already. All right, I think that's enough seasoning. Ooh. Ah, it feel like it's getting, it feel like it's getting a little, a little tender now. If you got meat tenderizer, use that, but make sure it's unsalted, cause you know this stuff right here gets salted real fast. It's a big piece of meat. We're gonna be eating on this for a couple days. Put some mint, some old mint garlic on there. All right. So when I put this in my crock pot, I'm going to put this with the fat part down. I already got it cooked up. I already got it turned on low. Oh, it's hot already. So yeah. Now that I got that in there, put a little bit more minced garlic everywhere. All right, let me wash my hands. Clean up as you cook. Say 
save this for next time. I just washed those off. Okay, so now. Butter. Butter in the corner. And then measuring cup for water. And I'm gonna cover the whole bottom. This is what we looking like. Yeah. My pot roast. Put the lid on. It's already starting to cook. Move my bread out the way. Push that to the back. And I already got it on low. There we go. Oh, y'all. My roast looks so good. show y'all a video so I got to turn it off let it cook all night and everything so now I'm gonna cook some potatoes so I got my pot And honestly, I'm just gonna cook all these potatoes because, yeah. Nine potatoes in the pan, and I'm gonna rinse. And actually, I'm just gonna rinse them right now. And, um,. I'm fixing to chop them up and put them back in this bowl. Put them back in the pan. And I'm going to fill the pan up with water. And I'm going to bring them to a boil. So, what's wrong, Leo? Just add it back outside. See? Me slicing up these potatoes. So, y'all can just look at me. Cut these potatoes. Actually, I'll show y'all. So I'm cutting them down in half, and then I'm just cutting them in three. Well, probably I'll cut this one in four or five. That's good. Let me throw them in now. Cause, baby, look. I don't know. I got to learn how to cook in portions, but I really don't want to learn how to cook in portions because, yeah, it's just me and my husband, but but we need to have leftovers because, baby, with me going to school and work, I don't want my husband to just be eating frozen food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got an opportunity and a choice to choose 
from frozen eat you know quick meals and you know hot meals but he my husband worked sometimes in the sun sometimes not and he need to he need to have him a hot meal so yeah I might not. Oh, I should have kept one of these potatoes because they had the little things on them, the little root, so I could grow some little roots. I'm going to keep those to the side. So now, put this in the sink. I'm going to fill it up with water. So they cover the potatoes. When they done. Okay, y'all. Now that it's boiling, I got the lid off, and I'm gonna use a fork to make sure, yeah, that they all like not hard, and they are good. So now I want to go ahead and pour this, out. pour the water out. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and. And the pot that I have right now has strings on the side, which is good. So I pour the water out. Try to move y'all over here so y'all. All right, so I pour the water out, and I guess I'm gonna use this little this to push it down and smash it, and then I'm gonna use some. milk I got and some butter which I should have put in there to let milk to begin with so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the so that can start milk and then I'm just gonna do my little salt and pepper bit of garlic salt. I'm 
such a messy cook, y'all. I got my washing machine growing in the back, so. have any sour cream so milk is good that's why I put garlic salt what else can we put pepper a little bit of onion powder some kind of flavor 